did not want to know, but I have since come to know that one of the girls, when she wasn't a girl anymore and hadn't long been back from her honeymoon, went into the bathroom, stood in front of the mirror, and buttoned her blouse, took off her bra, and aimed her own father's gun at her heart. Her father at the time was in the dining room with other members of the family and three guests. When they heard the shot, some five minutes after the girl had left the table, her father didn't get up at once, but stayed there for a few seconds, paralyzed, his mouth still full of food, not daring to chew or swallow, far less to spit the food out onto his plate. And when he finally did get up and run to the bathroom, those who followed him noticed that when he discovered the blood-splattered body of his daughter, and clutched his head in his hands, he kept passing the mouthful of meat from one cheek to the other, still not knowing what to do with it. I, I, never, I never write on purpose, as it were. I, I never have a plan. I, never have a pro I have never had a, a literary project, as it were. Uh, I've been improvising throughout my life and uh, the moment I finish a novel I don't even know whether there shall be another one in the future, not even that. Many people have pointed out that, that I have uh, some recurring themes, which of course is true in my novels. Um, and some, some people uh, have even talked about my obsession with a series of subjects. Uh, the word obsession I don't like. I, I don't think I'm particularly obsessed with anything. But if you can, I, I, I won't deny that. But the thing is that um, those subjects or those themes in many of my novels, it's true, are so ample, are so general, are so meaningful, also important to everyone, I think, that you wouldn't be able to say this is a subject, really. <laughs> uh, things like treason, secrecy, uh, the impossibility of knowing things for sure, the huge difficulty of knowing people or even knowing oneself, um, persuasion, uh, suspicion, uh, marriage and love as well. Uh, I mean, all those things are, I would say, they are the matter of literature. Not only of my books, but I would say, I would say, if you take any of the of of, of any almost any writer in history, you will find that those elements, somehow or other, are there. And at the same time, you have to remember too that the history of literature is probably the same drop falling on the same stone uh, with different languages, with different manners, with different forms, uh, with the forms adequate to your own time. That's why we use the word contemporary. But at the same time, it's probably, in my opinion, it's probably the same thing, the same stories, the same drop of water falling on the same stone all the time, ever since Homer or before. <laughs>